Hi, and welcome back to Don't Be Offside. Football can be an unpredictable sport, and even the best managers can find themselves out of a job. With numerous responsibilities, football managers are particularly vulnerable to being let go when things don't go according to plan. Boards and owners know that a strategic managerial change can be the key to improving a team's performance, and as a result, sacking managers has become commonplace in the modern era. One notable example of this is Rafa Benitez, a well-respected coach with a proven track record who has been out of work for an extended period of time. In this this video will dive into the reasons behind Bernitez's prolonged unemployment, exploring the factors that have contributed to this surprising turn of events. Join us as we uncover the fascinating world of football management and the challenges that come with it. We're talking about one of the most respected coaches in football, Rafa Benitez. This dude has coached some of the top teams in the game, including Valencia, Liverpool, Inter Milan, Napoli, Real Madrid, and Chelsea. He even took over as Everton manager in 2021, but things didn't go so well. And he was dismissed in January of 2022 after losing 9 out of 13 games. Since then, he's been out of the football management game, but don't get it twisted. Benitez is still held in high esteem by the red half of Maryside. This dude guided Liverpool to their fifth European Cup triumph in 2005, and then clinched the FA Cup the following year. Pretty impressive, right? Recently, Benitez was a guest pundit on Sky Sports' coverage of the Newcastle United vs. Liverpool game. When asked where his next job was coming from, he dropped a hint about the location being crucial to the type of position he would be willing to accept. This two-time La Liga winner knows what he wants and is looking for the right opportunity to get back into the game. So let's keep our eyes peeled for his next move and see what he's got in store for us. You need a project, he said on Sky Sports. I was lucky enough to manage a lot of teams, and I've won some trophies. I can say now, I don't like this project. I like this one. My problem is that I'm happy in England. In terms of the Premier League, my family, and everything. Sometimes you make decisions that are a risk, but the reality is that the Premier League is the best league in the world, and I want to be around Europe. Rafa is hungry to get back in the game, and he's got his sights set on one thing, the Premier League. He's been talking about it all over the place and emphasized this concept in interviews with BBC Five Live and even ahead of Manchester City's match against Newcastle, where he was dropping hints on BT Sport about wanting a new project as soon as possible. This seasoned manager knows what he wants and he's not afraid to go after it. Now, you might be wondering why a coach with Benitez credentials isn't already back in the game, coaching some struggling teams in the Premier League. But there's more to it than meets the eye, my friend, so stick around. And let's dive into the real story behind Rafa's hiatus from the game. Alright, let me break it down for you. You might be thinking that Rafa Benitez is just chilling on his couch for the past year, waiting for someone to call him up with a job offer, but that couldn't be further from the truth, my friends. In fact, Rafa's been a pretty popular guy. He's been offered around 20 positions in the past 14 months alone, including the chance to manage the Mexican national team. But he's not just looking for any old job. He's holding out for something that really excites him. During an interview with Five Live, Rafa spilled the tea on why he's been so selective. He wants to stay in Europe, preferably in the Premier League, and he's not willing to settle for anything less. After all, with his track record, who can blame him for being a bit picky? But wait, there's more. Rafa even came close to taking one of these offers, but the timing just wasn't right. So he's still on the hunt for his next big challenge, and he's not settling until he finds it. It's worth noting that despite eight Premier League clubs switching managers this season, with one almost doing so, none of them opted for Benitez. A couple of those clubs' decisions were understandable. Chelsea and Everton had already gone down the Benitez path in the past, and fans weren't exactly clamoring for a repeat performance. Additionally, Benitez's style of play wasn't a good fit for Brighton, who ultimately went with Roberto De Zerbi, over him to replace Graham Potter. Aston Villa and Wolves went for successful Europa League winners Unai Emery and Julian Lopotegui, respectively. Bournemouth played it safe with caretaker Gary O'Neill while their takeover was in progress and then made it permanent after a successful run in the autumn. This leaves Southampton and Leeds as the only Premier League clubs yet to find a permanent manager. Southampton went for an offbeat choice, but Nathan Jones' appointment turned out to be one of the worst in Premier League history. After a win over Chelsea, Ruben Sellis was appointed as manager until the end of the season. Leeds had their own managerial merry-go-round this season. They first let go of Jesse Marsh, then tried to woo Andoni Iriola from Rayo Velisano, but he wasn't interested. They then turned to Feyenoord's Arnslot, who preferred to stay in Renovese. 
Their under-21s coach, Michael Scubala, was appointed temporarily for the doubleheader against Manchester United, and despite being promised the job long-term, they later opted for Javi Garcia after a disappointing defeat to Everton. So what's the latest for Benitez? It seems that his options are quite limited at the moment. The most obvious choice would be West Ham, but despite their recent crushing defeat, the club doesn't appear to be on the verge of making any changes. Leicester, on the other hand, has shown some signs of life lately, suggesting that Brendan Rodgers' position is secure for now. Meanwhile, Crystal Palace has already brought back Roy Hodgson to manage the team until the end of the season. It would take something truly unexpected to shake things up for Benitez to get a shot elsewhere in the Premier League this season. So unfortunately, it's looking increasingly likely that this season could come and go without Benitez finding a new top-flight opportunity. Benitez is a name that frequently pops up whenever a team is in dire need of some stability. Yet, despite his impressive CV, no Premier League team has come knocking. Is it possible that his tumultuous time at Everton has irreparably damaged his reputation in England? Some argue that his legendary status at Liverpool made it impossible for him to succeed at Everton. But is this really the case? After all, if he had won more games, most Everton fans would have been happy to overlook his past allegiances. It's worth noting, however, that Benitez isn't the only manager to have struggled at Goodskin Park in recent years. In his defense, he only spent a meager £1.7 million on transfers. Benitez's potential control over a club is another issue that could deter Premier League teams from hiring him. Many clubs have a structured system where a head coach and a director of football work together, where the latter is mostly in charge of transfers. Benitez may want too much control over these decisions, leading to potential conflicts. He had difficulty reaching a compromise with Marcel Brands, Everton's former director of football, who left the club around the same time as Benitez. Moreover, Benitez's style of football isn't always pleasing to the eye. But as the saying goes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Some teams prioritize effectiveness over aesthetics and may not mind a less attractive playing style. Rafa Benitez's man management has also come under scrutiny, with some suggesting it's one of its weaknesses. This is not a new revelation, as former players like Steven Gerrand and Peter Crouch have spoken about their purely professional relationship with him without any personal rapport. Even modern-day players could have a problem with this, and it's not just limited to his relationship with players. He had a falling out with Lucas Dine, one of Everton's best players, which led to his transfer to Aston Villa. But let's not forget that Benitez has a track record of success that cannot be ignored, winning a La Liga title as well as the famous 2005 Champions League victory and Europa a league triumph with Chelsea are all clear indications of his managerial abilities. Despite his past success, Rafa Benitez's recent track record has been underwhelming in terms of trophy wins. The championship title with Newcastle in 2017 and 2014 Copa Italia with Napoli are his most recent triumphs. In the fast-paced world of the Premier League, fortunes can change rapidly. However, as it stands, the opportunities that Benitez desires seem to be dwindling. Nevertheless, with the unpredictability of football, it is possible that he may get another shot at success sooner than expected. Benitez has undoubtedly been one of the most respected and accomplished managers of his time, with a fan base that stretches beyond football. To some, he's a symbol of past glories, and to others, he's viewed as a fading star, unable to recreate the magic of yesteryear. Regardless, it would be unfortunate if his tenure in England concluded on a sour note. What are your thoughts on this matter? We'd love to hear your opinions, so feel free to share them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more engaging content content.